Exer Games is the splendid marriage of video games and exercise. These are games specifically designed for people to exercise with varying degrees of interactivity and immersion depending on the specific Exer game. On the low end of it, we see stuff like walking apps and other similar softwares that count your repetition or your steps automatically while encouraging you to do more. And I'm not talking about those apps that tell you to train but don't really count your repetitions. They all arguably don't really make the cut to being extra games because they should be more interactive. Now here we see real extra games. On the next level we start seeing not just LEDs but full displays showing your results. Getting away from LEDs and punching and kicking and throwing, we start seeing more interactive games with graphics like the eye wall where you have to time your jumping correctly. <laughs> We also see gaming mat solutions. And my solution of a treadmill also exists in extra games as you can see in this video of four girls competing against each other. There is also the Swift multiplayer software for treadmills and for cycling. Although, I can think of a thousand ways to hack the treadmill and the sensor to make the competition unfair and to make me be a lot faster than anyone else. I guess it works by the honor system, although I wouldn't trust my competitors to be honorable. Other cycling extra games may even let you turn left and right. There are also rowing solutions. The workout experience is connected, immersive and exhilarating. Letting you participate in challenges individually or together as a team. And of course you have the Wii Fitness. And VR games like the famous Beat Saber. And other games okay. like Hot Squat. Okay. I'm ready, I'm ready. Get it. Yeah. Yeah, get the good squat. Good squat. Ah. And VR boxing. And VR gym establishments already exist, like this one in San Francisco in Maine. It's counting your reps. So you're, I think, probably on 10 or 12 right now. There you go, good job. So if I, and I'm trying to defeat this person in front of me on the screen, or yep. is that me? Yep, oh, good job. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's the opponent. Keep going, is that the opponent? Okay, so if you can, can keep I, going. can I do this with friends? Oh my good lord. Nice, okay, good. I think by far this is my favorite type of extra game developed for athletes. Now, extra games are not to be confused with VR immersion products, stuff like a 360 treadmill, a haptic suit or whatever. Those immersion products are a way to increase immersion in VR and getting exercise with them is just a part of the game, a part of the immersion, a byproduct. So you can think of them as naturally occurring exercises, but the point in them is the full VR experience and not the exercise. Thing is, they don't really exist yet, they're too expensive and even the expensive ones aren't that great. I made videos about that. There is a grey area between VR immersion products and extra games, and the line can be really blurry at times, so that's the reason why I'm mentioning them. And here is a solution you won't really find up for sale. Now, that's what I call an immersive experience. Hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time.